Okay. Okay. You know what I see? Your energy is here. I don't see like it's round. I see it. First of all, I see you in your energy body just sitting watching me. And your energy sphere is if somebody took, uh, stretched it out. And that stretching out goes to st three points. Um, C T T U R status status constellation that whale constellation that we know of, and so there's M seventy seven Myra that like it's like a binary kind of system rota mm -hmm. like I see it's rotating, mm -hmm. and that Deneb it's right right here. Yeah, I know, I know Deneb. And you are from there, but here's this thing. You're saying that there's just some reptilians are after you and you have to do something about it. And you came to Earth because you had to hide from them because they took over your creative lab where you were creating you were creating sketches sketches of different hybrids of different kind of um, it's like your planet is interesting because um basically you have these different souls coming uh and then you have you build up bodies with different uh, abilities built into the body and you're the one who's sitting at the big table uh, and just sketching out the bodies and then they get almost like as if they were getting um, printed out holographically and that that hologram the outline of that hologram gets filled up with a soul um, so you see like the being of the sudden and it gets it so the soul picks it it's like the whole you have the whole book of sketches and whom you want to be how you want to look what you want to experience because this particular hybrid has this ability uh, abilities this other hybrid has those abilities and uh and you said that that they took over they came to the planet and they asked to, they, they start negotiating. I see reptilians and grace together. I see a reptilian, I see two grace. And they see, seem to be like, like a group that contracted and do things together. But I, I also feel like reptilians took a lot of planets uh, in your system and they live on them or build the places where they exist and they took all the resources from the humanoid form beings who used to live there but they were interested um, about the they wanted your book of sketches and you actually have a son and a daughter that you, they, uh, they're the souls who came to you and also wanted um, the bodies and they picked their bodies. The sun looks, it's kind of like an amphibian being with the hands and feet, um, you know, like amphibian with those, like a duck kind of. Mm -hmm. He's got the uh, scales, but not on the face, only on the body. He's got, he doesn't have a suit. It's just like scales covering. They're translucent, light green. 
and the daughter is different. Daughter is uh, lives on Earth, like on Earth on at the surface of that planet. The planet looks very kind of like orange color. Um, kind of reminds me how they like they show Mars, but they just mislead us. It's not that red, but that orange is bright and red mixed together. That's how I see it. Um, the atmosphere is a reflection. The atmosphere is actually blue, but it reflects the bright orange surface of the planet. And it's, it's, um, it's got this interesting kind of round. I see like imagine little flowers connected together and out of the flowers there's like there's a bush and it's made as a house and there are different beings live in it and the beings look like they are humanoid form mixed with an animal form but they're very short and small. I, I I look at right now at some sort of like a mouse with the ears like a bunny sticking up and they go into they live in those things because they need to be surrounded by vibration of this particular flowers and each animal knows which vibration it's more it's like it seems like it's a multi leveled and dimensional um rather like a star i guess because so basically what they did they took your book they took your book because you they offered you to work for them you refused and then they said that well you know what reptilians do when you refuse that yeah they just take what you want we just do it so they took why they were allowed to even come to you uh, i feel like on this planet uh, on this star you used to go into neutral location because i see some floating platforms around and you would use those platforms for negotiation or meeting with other uh, alien groups because you don't want to bring them to to your a habitat where you leave you never know what their intentions are and how they're going to behave but with this once they more like forcefully came without invitation and because already before they came why they were able to come through is because i feel there's already a little bit of chaos going on in the information it's like informational field around uh, the um, constellation infiltrated and got absorbed by all those stars in the constellation. And uh, it created some sort of, it's kind of like we are, we are bombarded with artificially designed thoughts and then we start thinking them and knowing that they're not ours. There, it's almost like you started feeling like you have to do something to protect your planet. But at that moment, those guys show up and you're already uh, vulnerable. And that vulnerability was the hook for them to be able to even talk to you and come to you. So they take your book. I see like it's preserved in their library. It it It's actually inside some old looking, like a treasure box uh, looking thing. It's, it's like blend of gold and silver together. And it goes in layers. It's got some yellow stones around the closing mechanism in front the closing mechanism is not the key thing you have to say something i feel like it responds to the sounds you're supposed to make or to word like a cold thing that it responds to activation and it's capped by the grace the short grace 
and it's it's like a laboratory but you can call it a library the one of the book that one of the rooms is there's strange rooms there there's strange rooms filled with energy bodies they're sobbing and crying and they're blending their lives together so the people can experience multiple lives running through their heads at the same time filled with uh, tragic events and and energies connected to them but then not their lives and then there are rooms with those there's some books on the shelves there's some books in those special cases like that like a box um it depends who owns them and what they're for your book is very valuable to them and they periodically they scanned it into their computer system and the uh, paper copy they put on there I don't even know where I am right now it looks like it looks like it's um oh I understand the whole system it's it's just um your energy sphere they they like grabbed as if your energy sphere was a rubber and then when you grab the rubber and you can stretch it out, they stretch it out and at the end create it like a bubble. And that bubble is a bubble of reality, like a pocket, which they inserted that library. So your energy, you're glowing like a, you look like a sun. Your energy outline is orange, like just like from the star. And then it goes in all the directions all around you and that it is if somebody was sucking it out into the membrane of your energy sphere, which is distorted with those spikes. And at the end of the spikes, they create different realities for themselves. Um, and it siphons your information. I see like eight to 14% to each bubble. And there are eight of them. The four on one side, four on the other. Some of them have some tubes, containers, DNA samples from each five years of your life. They see how DNA changes under the influences of simply physical influences food water substances medication whatever it is that gets into you through even water um that's what they keep in one of them because other like storage storage rooms also laboratories for one belongs to one is like it's like a lab was grace walking around it's almost like a different reality it kind of looks like small but when you walk in it's huge <laughs> yeah so you 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 just said that what they did is they did your children they took your children Jesus. and they wanted to insert And they wanted to play the DNA with the humans already here because the um, hybridization progress prog um, program, it never ends. It never has the ending because they just, all they do is hybridize. And some of the races hybridize themselves to the point that they lost their abilities. And they want to see through hybridization of humans, what is that point? when you use this or that function of the body of the physical body of that ability uh, because they want to keep some of the abilities in us but others they keep they want to keep under control like um the way we reproduce they want to keep that under control through substances and current new protocols and things like that 
so they're just it's all related um i get that those children are your two children because you keep following them yeah because they you keep following them through your i see like and i understand that you're following two energies <laughs> you follow two energies they actually they in reverse which is the female one always picks the male body and i think the male one female from your from your star like the opposite and um all those four lives this is the fifth life but you're standing there in your energy sphere and you're saying look at this this is unbearable i have no control over this it makes me very sad i just feel out of control because they keep stretching out my energy sphere taking my energy without my permission just because i wanted to save my children and i try I hopped into my spaceship and I tried to follow their spaceship, but they tricked me into throwing me into incarnation with my children. And that's how three of us incarnate. They just keep reincarnating all the time. Like, and you're kind of laughingly saying like, holy trinity. Um, and it's just four lives. The you know, thing about I have like that. I mm -hmm. have um, three children, a boy, a girl, and a boy. Is can you tell which of those two? Yeah, the first one and the last one, not the middle. Well, those are both boys, and then the um... right. They they picked the boys this time because they also what came to me before twins. They probably because of the energy, you know, like physically, like two boys, mm -hmm. kind of like that. I'm just trying to navigate into this. But in that, they picked the, those souls originally picked the body of a boy and a girl. But I feel like the girl from that, Deneb, he is, well, he's the first boy. She is. Yes. The, he, yes. Yes. And the youngest one is that. Yeah. He was from Danab also? Or... Mm hmm And what about the daughter? Is she very related to me? She, uh, she looks like this light energy that travels around space and just learning like a student. She was going in circles, staying, circulating around each system, each planet, each star, trying to learn more about it because she was very careful where she wanted to incarnate, but she got caught in one of those traps. What they did is that basically we have those, uh, you can call them white holes. We used to have those originally, but they turned them into black holes. They covered them up with black hole on one side and turned them also into traps. And the traps can suck you in in space. And then they come, the grays come by ship and check on each black hole to see if something got caught once one or two, you know, souls got caught. And that's how she was 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 caught. Is she unhappy? She, she does. Yeah, she doesn't like it because she feels like she's sitting inside a bag, and the bag is tied up on top. And but all she wants is to see the sky and be free to move around, and learn. She calls this universe as a school because there's so much diversity goes on. Uh, because the original humans, they were in all kinds of shapes and forms, which made it interesting. Um, and they were very powerful creator beings, much like 
what we think angels are with multiple abilities, multiple abilities to project themselves into different stars, planets, systems at the same time and help out and create there. And then they took all this as a template for the control system here because they know that subconsciously we believe and know that these beings actually exist but the truth is those beings are us and uh, that was interesting for her she wanted to gain more experience but in reality she said that she didn't gain the experience she gained problems by being caught in this and she doesn't like the feeling yeah we don't blame her what about the older son? I feel like, um, I do feel like we were on the same planet. I guess the younger one too, but. You're very um, connected because they're your female energy and he was a female energy also. And he was that being a very creative, lived at the surface. He had creative abilities like yours could sketch things and manifest them from the mind into reality. More like that. And um, you, you yeah. were just at the surface because the youngest is not at the surface. He is more like at the sea level, water. This. So he likes water. He does like water a lot. Yeah. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Yeah, it does, because he chose the body of her amphibian being, so he's more connected. And he spent last time with you, even though he was your child. But you know, your children there are like, that's their choice. Do they stay with the parent or not? Uh, it depends. They can even go to a next door star to experience life there and visit back. There's no real you know, like family is strong, whatever, stay together. Right. Is this, how many lives have the younger and the older one have had with me? Have, yeah. But you only have the same amount. But that's it, that's the interesting part. So, well, you have four. This is your fifth life. But the level of consciousness are different in your children. Your daughter is more like a young soul. Well, you know, in this universe for sure she knows more about other universes than this one she's like a student here mm -hmm. but she doesn't like the school <laughs> so but yeah you just called on all these beings there's something like crazy um thingy like a water worm came through one of those things spikes mm -hmm. kind of gave me like a <laughs> nausea feeling um you just encapsulated him and froze him and i think it was he came from some artificial creation of they used the sketches and they tested some of the beings they created and they changed on you in your children when they were in your energy sphere and that's one of them i mean there's like a multi-level kind of creation research going on but they also like the way you think they like the way you create with your mind your ideas they they, they just take your visual they take your visual ideas all the time and I'm that's so what sorry. Uh -huh. who, who is this? Is this the reptilians or my kids? One reptilian and two greys. Reptilian is kind of controlling the greys, even though in reality greys are controlling the reptilian. Hmm. Um, and there are like three of them. I see them here. I see that snake you can encapsulate it in that kind of snowball here. And your children are like standing and watching. You know what I see? I see those boys like they're the same height. They're very tall and the daughter is like very small. She looks like a five year old child. <laughs> She's little. She it's almost like 
her inner self doesn't want to grow up because this world is scary. It's scary. Uh, yeah. And, um, well, first of all, you're taken. There's this thing. They put like a um, um, program. Uh, there's some divider. It, it's it's kind of like the brain, right? Two sides, and they divided it, and they inserted some plate. I see. Um, soft metal, flexible, and on it's like letter T, and there, and then there is like a noble. And what they're doing, the uh, idea you project in your head as a picture, they steal it immediately because before you even get it yourself um or feel it or see it or get get like you know I, so I they feel like blocked i feel super blocked yeah they still it onto this it's like a screen system like a screen and then it sends a pre holographic projection that they absorb into this computer of theirs and the computer of theirs in their computer room connected to one of those eight spikes inside um, and that's what they do was that thing. Can I get rid of them, the spikes or? Oh yeah, you're going to do it now. I'm just kind of going through your body to see like what kind of implants you have. Because I see some almost like strange pillows on the tips of your fingers. Um, that they're glued on. So whatever you touch, they feel what you, they feel you're feeling. And it's almost like through you, they can experience the physical world. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, you take, you, you actually created like a Play-Doh thing and you just put your fingers and got stuck onto it. <laughs> and here, I forgot, there's like, um, as if you know a child cut out like a heart from mm -hmm. a cardboard and put it on top of your heart. So they're just trying to block that connection. And I feel like periodically it burns up by you wanting to connect to your own self. And then they put a new one, which it kind of looks ridiculous because it does look like um, something. Yeah. So you take it out too. You take that T one out from your head. There are some little cords going down on the sides of your spinal cord and connecting to the ovaries. And they're censoring um, how the process there goes. Oh, they, they this through you they um figure out how to reactivate the ovaries so the older humans can have kids this came to me like mm. they're, they're studying how they age why they age what they can do <sighs> because something about the uh, realities they're trying to create, um, they want to be able to turn them off at any age and um, unturn them, you know, like reactivate them. Right. But it's, it's some evil plan because what came to me, it's like as if you were about to die, but then you created a baby and the baby would be taken by the system because you actually die. Something like this. Um, so you take those tiny red cords with the r metallic balls that kind of like attached sensors to both and you take them out, you opening a portal, just throwing everything out right now there. And periodically, it's like the spaceship comes above and scans you. Scans you with blue light. And I mean, there's multifaceted research going on all the time. So you threw those out. And now you're going by yourself through the corridors, through that corridor that created out of your own energy sphere 
to the uh, library, you take your box, metallic box, open it up and take your book. And what you do is you're actually going back to that moment when they take your book and you do this. You create like a um, plasma ball and you throw it at them and I see they're getting, it's like as if somebody was disappeared through the wall and you don't see them anymore. Like they disappeared from your dimension out. And the plasma ball you were able to create because you saw what was going to happen if you kept um, anxious and scared in that situation like you did before you eliminated those feelings and you were able to raise your vibration and create your power weapon to get them out so you change that and then you just go into the computer and just erase everything i see everything's like you created some anti um, basically antivirus of everything they created and which makes everything like all the data that they collected from you black and non-existent they can see it's all deleted 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 <laughs> and she's, you're looking at your DNA and you don't understand why it's all like it's like cells that breathe and they they it's like energies um stretched out oval energies they go like this connect like chains 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 but they're this beautiful coral color and there are 52 of them and the whole thing is just it's almost like has a life of its own but it's um they have the tubes coming from it again in where you erased all the data so those tubes are like they're useless now but you take them out they're translucent and they go through those things kind of like connected that way but then they done this <coughs> twist you took the tubes out um, and then your energy body I see your children doing the same okay. because they're they actually curious are listening they they're standing right here I just see them here and I see you here and I see that snake is still here actually probably time to throw them out um, and uh, you just create this beautiful pond with a waterfall of warm water going into it made out of natural crystals and you just all got in just like a jacuzzi thing I don't know what it is you created but you all like jump into it and you're like mom it's warm water you know it's like a warm <laughs> um, coming out yeah naturally so you're all sitting in it. It's kind of funny. Your daughter is like, where's my rubber ducky? <laughs> so like this. <laughs> She's saying and um, kind of jokingly because I see she grew now. Okay. She's no longer little because she understood to how to get unstuck from this feeling little helpless and having to follow commands kind of um, program. Mm -hmm. um, of this reality and you're just like opening a big portal and just pushing pushing with your leg the, the snakey in there mm -hmm. and uh, this reptilian was too grays also going reptilian is kind of weird he's got this little kind of like a thing that sticks up from his almost like a rhino I have no idea I've never seen species like this <laughs> but yeah, hybridization went wild but yeah they're gone and it's like 
all these things are gone as if they fell off and your energy sphere was able to contract because all the inside was eliminated and disappeared. So it took its original round form, like a bubble around you of energy, your own energy, and nobody's in there. And I just see you having fun time in the tub, natural <laughs> spring stub. So, yeah. are are there any other entities attached to me? No, I told you to call on everybody, on every single single one, and those no, those are the ones who were in control of you with the book and everything. Basically, kind of following you around all these lives, taking your energy and all this, and doing research. Is that why I have always been tired almost my whole life? Yeah, there yeah, because I mean, so many labs, like eight different institutions, basically imagine the world were run or creations were run on your energy. That makes uh, sense. Why did I come here this time? Or was I stuck here and I had no choice? You were stuck here, kind of. You you were in a way happy that you found your kids. Uh, but at the same time, you realize that the programming of... You can't influence their programming. You can only think for yourself because your daughter's soul is younger than yours, not as wise, for instance. Or no, uh, younger than your, like, let's say, oldest. Oldest has um they all have different though souls, you know, from different mm -hmm. uh stars. And that's why it, like you understood that it's hard to coordinate in your escape from the system. Unless unless you go all the way to the end to see the the truth and it kind of happened to be that um, you were able to actually choose your lives because they're rather spread out um, towards the end of the organization of humanity as we know of and restructuring it. You wanted to see the restructuring and, and in restructuring you see the exit point. So that's that's another it's kind of like exciting feeling to finally get out. What well, do you usually go back to a particular place when you leave this spear or no, I you can really... focus your energy inside yourself in your essence and say go into original space period to my original home and that would be where your higher self is. And then, you know, you can look at everything from above, collect all your experiences and decide if you even want to incarnate in your parts of you or not anymore, which yeah. I'm not going to do. I'm just going back. Yeah. I'm done. I'm too tired. Do, do you see that I have to come back? Because I really do not want. I, Earth well, is beautiful. You're, you're the one who decides if you want to come back or not. Nobody's going to decide for you. All this is deception, you know, in fake worlds, life in between lives, and all this artificially designed and created for somebody to control you and force you to incarnate again. When you're free, you're free. You're independent, autonomous, and you make your decisions for yourself. You know, you take your that. experience as your experience. You know that this this whole entire level is set up for making mistakes and there's nothing wrong with it you know right so just accept yourself as you are and in that exception you can go where you want you're free you um, free yourself from the mind that's right. the trick right. yeah that's the harder part huh or maybe it's not as maybe it's not as hard as i think it is hmm, not as hard but think about you've been manipulated for so many lives and, you know, events were put on your way. You have to live through them, created for you, not by you. I mean, 
you just it takes your guilt off right there right it's through right. understanding do does my is my dna color is it the coral color you talked about Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is that? Um what does that mean? Do you know? I mean warm, warm, wise, creative. It's right here. About you. I'm sorry, what was the last thing you said? Creative. Creative, mm -hmm. warm and wise and standing you know in your truth defending yourself and others in their truth kind of like that 